Now over the last few weeks people have got in touch and asked me if I could do a few videos every now and then about cheaper devices. I thought well this is a perfect opportunity. I'll do a short video about this wireless doorbell. Now normally these things probably wouldn't be worth talking about but I'm very happy with this one so I'm quite happy to show it to you. Inside the box you get the usual things of course. You get a self-adhesive outside button. You get the inside unit that plugs in a plug socket and rings. The screws and roll plugs are in there and that's an adhesive pad. Now it works just like you'd expect with any doorbell. You press the button outside and the unit inside rings as well as flashes. But the clever thing with this one is the outside unit doesn't have a battery in it. And that's why I picked up this particular model. No battery to go flat. It's purely powered by the push of your finger. Now I'm showing you the measurements of the bell push here because it's quite important. It's a little bit wider than your normal bell push. So you've got to make sure you've got enough space outside to stick it to something. It's got an adhesive pad on the back of it. However, you do have in the box these screws, but I wouldn't recommend screwing it to the wall because those just go through this adhesive pad, which then sticks to the back of the bell push. And I can imagine that quite easily getting torn off and just leaving those screws behind. You can adjust the volume of the ringer unit as well as have multiple ringer units attached to the one bell push so you can put them all over the house if you want and add extra ones in later. And as you can see, you can also have lots of different and very annoying ringtones. Now, looking at Amazon, there seems to be a bit of a wireless doorbell ringtone arms race, with each manufacturer trying to outdo their rivals by including more and more different ringtones. It's not a big thing for me, I'll tell you, I'm quite happy with the standard old bing bong, but if you're the kind of person that wants a lot of ringtones, well, this thing's got 36, hopefully that's enough for you. But for me, I'll just stick to the good old-fashioned... Now, when I bought mine, they were all sold out of the bundles where you get one bell push and two ringers. So I ended up having to buy two sets of the one bell push and one ringer, which is why I've now got a spare bell push that I can show you. So I could open this one without worrying about damaging it. The other one is, of course, stuck to the front of the house at the moment. So we'll get inside here and see what we can see. Well, there's not an awful lot in there, as you can imagine. First thing you might notice, the wire coming out of the left-hand side of that circuit board going all the way around, that's the antenna. And as I say, in the specs, it says it'll get 100 metres. It'll definitely reach all over my house without any problem. When you press the button on the front, it pushes that little thing down there. You hear the click, and I'm assuming it's a piezoelectric transducer that's generating the electricity. You get a little flash on the front of the bell there as well. 